Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. Um, so for today's video, I have a new to me vendor haul. Um, I have a haul here from Traverse City Wax, uh, which I could think used to be known as Ava's Country Cupboard, um, but it is now Traverse City Wax. And this is my first time purchasing. Um, I have never tried out her wax before. Um, but the Lin uh, the owner's name is Lindsay, and she did include a business card. And there is that on the back, Traverse City Wax Co. So yes, Lindsay is the owner, and Lindsay was so sweet. I had placed an order on, it was last Friday night. Um, I had placed a small order and then um, I heard that she was doing a restock, like a mini restock on the, that following Sunday, a couple of days later. And she was gonna be having a, she had a blend in there that I had heard so much about and that I really wanted to get. So um, I had went on her website and saw that um, she says that she combines shipping for orders made on the same day. So I wasn't sure if she would, you know, uh, be willing to combine my order, you know, from Friday and Sunday. So I emailed her on Sunday afternoon and asked her if it would be possible to uh, combine my orders from Friday and Sunday. She emailed me literally within like 10 minutes. She emailed me back and she's like, oh, absolutely. That is fine. She thanked me for checking with her first before I placed the order. So that was just like outstanding to me. The fact that she answered me back so quickly and she was uh, willing to combine my orders for me. So Lindsay, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad I was able to pick up these scents that I really wanted to get. And I'm so excited to try out your wax. So she does include an invoice as well, which is very nice. And we are just gonna jump in. We are gonna start off with the samples. She was very, very generous with the samples. I have five samples here. So Lindsay, thank you so much for the samples. You did not have to include so many for just my small order, but I am totally grateful for the samples because I've already smelled them and there are a few that I will definitely want to pick up in a bigger size. <laughs> so we are gonna start here with Christmas Village. I'm sorry, I don't have the scent notes for these, but. This is definitely, you know, Christmas tree. I don't know what else is in it, but it almost kind of smells like tree farm to me from like the Bath and Body Works candle. It's kind of like that same tree note that's in tree farm. And I love that candle. So I think this is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna have to go on her website and see if she has it available or at least try to see what the scent notes are because I might be willing to pick this up in a bigger size at some point. Next, we have Fall Baking at Tiffany's. So I'm assuming that this is a Cupcakes at Tiffany's blend. I just don't know what else is in it besides the Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I get the Cupcakes at Tiffany's and I'm getting something else. I can't put my finger on it. Is it pumpkin? There's something familiar about it, but there's definitely Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I do get that. I think maybe possibly with a pumpkin note, I'm not sure. But that one smells pretty good on cold. I'm not a huge Cupcakes at Tiffany's fan, depending on like how well it's blended. Like if it's blended like this, like this is actually really nice. But I find from some other vendors I've tried, I get more of a chocolate note when I go to warm it and I'm just not a fan of chocolate and wax. So Cupcakes at Tiffany's has to be blended really well for me to like it. And that one is actually really nice. This one is called Cupcakes with the Grinch. And this is the one that I was actually interested in this. I know she had it available on the website, but I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't get it because all I get from this is the white chocolate. I believe there's a white chocolate note in here. And I just can't do, like I just said, I can't do chocolate and wax. So unfortunately that one, I was not really a fan of, but I will pass this along to somebody who will enjoy it more than me. This next one is one I think she did have available on her website and I was gonna pick it up, but then I didn't and I'm kind of kicking myself now for it. But this is Monster Mash. I think this is like another pumpkin blend. No, oh, this is Cider Lane. I, I think it's Cider Lane and something else because I definitely get a Cider Lane note but this is actually really good. I really like this one. And these are a generous size sample. Sorry, I'm not showing you the sample, the sizes. 
but mm, that one's really good. The next time I place an order, if she has this available on the website, I'm definitely even gonna pick this one up in a bigger size. And the last sample I have here is called Winter Wreath. I guess like a little bit of a fruity note. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But it does smell like a fruity like holiday. Nope. It does smell good. I'll have to try to see if I can find the scent notes for that one too. So those are my five samples that she uh, sent to me. So Lindsay, thank you again for those samples. I enjoyed them and I'm so grateful. So we are just going to hop in. I did get, um, what is it, two-pack shapes. I don't, I don't know if they're called two-pack shapes or something. But um, I got Christmas cookies, which is vanilla sugar cookies and buttercream frosting. And, and it just comes with two of these shapes. And this smells delicious. It's vanilla buttercream frosting and the sugar cookies it's just it smells just like sugar cookies with buttercream frosting so so good i'm glad to have gotten this one i would probably pick up more of this in the future too because that one's really good and then i got two of her leaf shapes the first one i got is honey pear cider which is fresh pears sweet honey cinnamon and nutmeg I love that she uh, has the pour dates on the bottom of these as well. This one was poured October 1st and the Christmas cookies one was also poured October 1st. I'm not exactly sure of what the cure time is. So if you guys are familiar with Traverse City Wax, please let me know in the comments down below how long you let her wax cure for because I'm really interested to know because I do want to dig into some of these and I just don't know if they're going to be ready to go yet. This one... It's okay to be on warm. I usually like pear scents, but I don't know. I don't know if it's maybe the honey or the cinnamon that's throwing me off a little bit because I don't usually always like honey in wax, but I do like pear, so that's why I wanted to give it a try. I'm not sure about this one. I may warm it just to see, or I might send it to somebody I already have in mind of somebody who would like this. So I might send it over to them so they could enjoy it, but that was honey pear cider. The other leaf shape that I got is baked apple baklava. This is spiced apples, flaky crust, chopped nuts, and butter. This one was also poured on October 1st. This one I wish I would've got more of. Mm, this one's good. This one's really good. You get the spiced apples and you get the flaky crust with a hint of nuts and a hint of butter. But I mostly get like the spiced apples with the flaky crust. It is so nice. And then this is what her leaf shape looks like. It's really nice. I could probably, I'll probably end up chopping this maybe into like four or five, possibly even six pieces, depending on how much I use in my warmer. So I think that's pretty good. And her prices are very reasonable. Let me see if there's prices here on the invoice. No, there was no prices on the invoice. But it's okay. But I think they were like, was it $3.55, I think? So very reasonable. Okay, and then I got two bakery bags here. Uh, the first one I got was based on their uh, recommendation from Natalie from Jersey Shore Living. This is Pumpkin Pecan Milkshake. This is creamy pumpkin, vanilla ice cream, and crushed pecans. This was also poured on October 1st. I know Natalie has raved about this scent, so I was dying to try it because I love pumpkin. And this smells so good. I totally understand why Natalie loves this. I think Charity also likes this too. You get that creamy pumpkin, the crushed pecans, and that vanilla ice cream kind of just like smooths it all together. So this is just like, you know, her shape bags and they're all just like these little flower shapes here. Mm. This is really good. I really like this. I'm so glad that I picked it up in a bakery bag. Mm. So, so good. 
I am so excited to warm that. So that, like I said, this one was poured on October 1st. Today is the 14th, so that's two weeks ago. I might give it maybe like another week or so before I try to warm it just in case. And then the last bakery bag I got was called Goodnight Kisses, which is soft lavender, sweet marshmallow, and creamy vanilla. This was also poured on October 1st. Mm. Yep. Lavender, creamy vanilla. Mm. This is going to be a really nice relaxing bedtime scent. So this one has the purple flowers in it. Mm. I thought about summer when I uh, ordered this. I had actually had texted her and asked her if she had tried this because I know she loves lavender scents and she said that she hadn't. So I told her when I got this in, I was going to send her a couple pieces. So summer, you will be getting this soon because I think you're really going to enjoy it. It is a really nice creamy lavender. And lastly, I got one of her breakaway bars. This was the reason why I wanted to go in a second time on Sunday. This is called Frankenstein. And this is sweet pumpkin, crushed pecans, vanilla bean, and buttery cupcakes. And can I just say, how cute is that label? And look at this brittle. The purple, the black, the green, and then the back of it is green. It did come a little broken, but that's totally fine because I'm just gonna break it apart and melt it anyways. But it is beautiful. And this scent is beautiful. Mm, I'm so happy. And it, like, just look at that. That is gorgeous. And it just screams Halloween to me. You get the sweet pumpkin and the buttery cupcakes. I don't get too much like pecans in this. A slight hint of vanilla bean, but I get a lot of sweet pumpkin and the buttery cupcakes. It's just a very nice, creamy pumpkin bakery. It's so good. Mm. I'm so happy that I went in for this. So that was Frankenstein. And just look at the cute little label. I can't get over that. So yeah, that is it. That is my first haul from Traverse City Wax. So if you have purchased from Traverse City Wax in the past, please let me know down below how the wax performs for you. How uh, long do you let it cure? What is some of your favorite scents that maybe I should try to pick up next time she offers it? And yeah, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by and uh, spending a little bit of time with me. And I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.